why do you think time synchronization might be important for TV commercials? Because they pay for how much time they use. Um, so if they're 30 second or 15 second, they pay for that, yeah? So you go to the fridge during commercial? <laughs> No, but the volume is louder. Uh, no, you're, I'm not sure you guys are getting close yet on that one. Needs to be precisely during that particular time slot. So, um, so tell me more about that. So if it's like a Super Bowl or, or some big event, and then they sell those ads for for breaks or that particular time slot show, you get 15 seconds during like 11 a.m. to this this time. So that should be same throughout, I guess, maybe because of that. So what if you're watching the Super Bowl and the commercial came on five seconds earlier than it was supposed to? Okay, so you missed the last end of the last play there. Okay, um, that would be not good. I mean, it turns out on TV shows, sometimes the commercials come from the network NBC is transmitting, but sometimes the local station puts their own commercial in. And they need to know exactly when to do that. Um, and I was talking to uh, Symmetricon, who, who's a company that makes um, time synchronization equipment for the network, and they said cable TV um, and broadcast TV is one of their big markets and where th a lot of things are happening. Okay, So there's all these reasons, and we're going to talk first about them in general, when I say in general, we're going to talk about them with regard to just telecommunications in general, and then we're going to get on to talking them with regard to power.